one of the baits that has kind of you know been around for a long time but it's losing i feel like it's losing attention is you know a big worm it's an awesome big fish bait you know this here is a 10 inch yum ribbon tail it's just it's a it's a big meal and it's for some reason you know it just it can it'll get bites and it attracts big fish one of my favorite things to do you know when i grew up fishing grand was flip a big worm around docks and what you have to remember is when you're flipping docks usually you want the smaller bait so you can skip it and you can you know get it in these tight places well a big worm's hard to fish around docks and that's why i like it because it's a lot harder to get it into those places but once you get it in there it's a bait that you know a lot of these fish haven't seen you know, on Grand and, and Lake of the Ozarks and places like that, a lot of these people will have brush around the docks and don't get me wrong, I catch a lot of big ones like way back underneath the floats and behind the boats and pontoons and stuff, but you catch a lot, you know, in that brush that's around the, the edges of it. It seems like to me that's when a big worm excels and usually on a big worm bite around a dock, it's usually gonna bite when that worm is falling. And if I don't get a bite, you know, it's just it's just a real slow and I, all I'm really trying to do is just move it across the bottom until I until I come into contact with something. Once I get that worm away from the dock, you know, I'm, I'm really just dragging it, trying to find something. If I see brush or something like that with panoptics, uh, which happens a lot, you know, that's that's where I'll key on it. You know, I'll come into a dock like this one here as I'm approaching it, you know, I'll just scan like right there. 22 feet there's something I landed right in it there's a brush pile right there and you think about it I mean this old boy that comes out on this dock and fishes he wants to fish straight out in the deep water and that's where he threw his brush out so it makes a lot of sense but and that's where I'll catch a lot of the fish that nobody else even knows to make a cast because most guys are gonna pull up here they're gonna flip around this dock and then they're gonna keep on going they don't fish out here where the boat usually is you know, when I'm fishing a big worm, whether it be flipping docks or fishing out deep, I'm usually going to use a 7.3, 7.4 rod. And, and I want something that, that I can put that hook, you know, in, in their mouth. Something pretty stiff. Uh, a little bit of tip for flipping, but, uh, you know, it's just basic Texas rig. You know, a five or a six aught hook. And, uh, you know, the weight varies most times than not. I think it's half ounce especially around the docks because I want it to fall pretty quick. And I'm one, even even deep fishing, you know, I peg my weight just, you know, I've seen it a lot in brush piles where I feel like where you come up over a limb and you feel it and you stop it and your weight goes off one side of the limb and your bait's on the other. That's why I, I use a bobber stop a lot. 